going on guys? Sunny aka The Random Recorder here. So today, I want to go ahead and give you guys my personal impressions and thoughts on Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Now, you might be able to tell that I like Dragon Ball a lot, but I'm going to go ahead and try to be as impartial as possible. I'll be going from the good to the bad, or and there's something in the middle and I'll get to that in a sec. But without further ado, let's get started on my personal impressions. So for the good, I would say definitely the graphics would go there. Uh, Cyber Connect 2, um, obviously, they even said it in the little gameplay demo that they had on IGN's channel. I'll see if I can have that linked in the description below. But basically, even they said, you know, hey, we've worked on a lot of anime games in the past. You know, we know how to do the cel the cel shaded style to kind of get it to look like the anime. And, you know, to, to go from the 2D to 3D, you know, like 2D anime to a 3D game, there's obviously, there is an adjustment. It can be difficult. So uh, I think they're handling it pretty well. The graphics on the game look very, very nice, um, especially like when he's flying. I, I don't know what it is, but the kind of animation that they have on that, I absolutely love it. It looks great. Uh, now, for something I thought it was kind of, um, it's not exactly, I think it's kind of bad for now, but we don't know enough about it to make the full opinion. So it's kind of between good and bad at the moment for me. And that is the combat system. So. For the combat system, I gotta say, you know, when they're playing the gameplay demo, you can actually see what the commands are, and it looks like there's like one button for attack, one button for key blast, and it looks like that's what's, I mean, and obviously your movement often you have like dash and, and cancel and things like that, and it looks like that's what the combat is going to boil down to, and I really hope they don't kind of take a slim, uh, simplistic, you know, approach to it, like just having the one button that you mash over and over again to, to get you know, from, to, to beat your opponent. I really hope that isn't how it is, because, I don't know, I just don't think that would be as fun. You know, if you go ahead and take a uh, look at some of the other RPGs you have, like Devil May Cry 5, for example, right? Um, you have like a skill tree, you can unlock more moves and abilities, so you kind of start out the game looking like this, but once you've leveled up and you've gotten more abilities, you end the game looking like this. And that's what I'm hoping they can go ahead and do with Dragon Ball Z Kakra. I'm hoping that they'll be able to, uh, you know, make more and more moves, more and more abilities. I think, I, at least, they haven't confirmed it yet, but from the way the game looks, you'll be able to play as more than one character. You'll have a party, like a traditional RPG, which is also something I'm, I'm happy they're doing. It is a new style for a game, or at least new to me. I haven't played any of the other Dragon Ball Z RPGs. Um, that are like this, so I'm happy to see that they're kind of taking, you know, you can play as more than one character. That to me was a big deal. So, um, I think over time you're gonna have more abilities and more things to do in the game. And so I'm hoping they can improve on that. Now, in terms of something I thought was, you know, definitely bad for now. At least, it's kind of like combat, but I think it's a little bit worse. And, and in terms of how good or bad it is. And that is, that's gotta be just the actual emptiness of the world. So this is an open world RPG, somewhat, and so when you kind of, when you tell someone it's an open world RPG, you kind of expect it to be full, you know, with a lot of characters, a lot of NPCs, a lot of quests, things like that. And from the looks of it, you know, they were playing, right? They were playing in the gameplay demo for like 10 minutes and they found one NPC with one quest line, which was just like a 15 second fight where you go beat someone up. And, and that was kind of it. That's what it boiled down to. You know, you, you, they went into caves. They, they did a little fishing. I like that there was kind of like different aspects of what you could do. You could do fishing, cooking, things like that. I thought those were really nice additions. But in terms of actual NPCs and side quests, the game to me felt very, very empty. And so I'm hoping the final product isn't like that. If you remember, uh, I don't know if you know about this, but World, One Piece World Seeker, one of the biggest complaints about that was there was just not enough to do with the game. It's not uh, not enough to do in the game. It's not uh, by the same developers as One Piece World Seeker, but I'm hoping they don't go down that path. I'm hoping there's a lot to do. And I'm hoping like the side quests don't just boil down to go here, beat someone up, and come back. You know, if you go to games like Breath of the Wild, you know, I don't think it's gonna be as good as Breath of the Wild, but go back to games like Breath of the Wild, and if you take a look at them, you know, you'll see that there's a variety of things you can do with the quest. Some need you to get a certain amount of items, some need you to um, beat some, sometimes they do need you to beat someone up. Sometimes they need you to take like a photograph of something, sometimes like etc. etc. There's a lot of different, there's a lot of variety to the side quests, and I that's one of my favorite parts about Breath of the Wild. So I'm hoping that they can go ahead and expand, you know, make more quests, make more variety with the quests, and I think that would actually make it a really, really great game. But those are my personal first impressions for Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. 
I should have the trailer and the gameplay demo linked in the description below. If you guys want to go ahead and check those out, do uh, make sure to. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to David Join the TR Army, and uh, hit the notification bell if you want to know of our future uploads. If you feel strongly about the game, let me know down in the comment section below. You know I'm always reading down there. And that's going to wrap it up for this video. Random Recorders. Peace out.